Hello, everyone. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Singapore. And first of all, welcome to all the friends who have tuned in, especially those of all friends from Hong Kong and Vietnam, and also around for the region. Um, very quickly first, my name is Ming Yen. I'm from Global Culture Alliance, and I'll be a host for the uh, evening. And uh, so we are from Singapore. And I think before I go any further, just quickly where we are, this is actually Hillside 1820. We are in a black and white bungalow but it's nearly 100 years old on the slopes of Mount Faber um, that we run as an art centre here up in Singapore. So we're in a very historical setting and we're really greatly honoured and privileged to be able to do so. And also for tonight, um, this is a very special event to take place especially during this time of the pandemic. Uh, when, as you know, in various countries around the region, there's a lot of uh, movement restriction, movement control and limited number of people allowed in different places and I think more poignantly and importantly it's been very difficult for friends and families across ocean to see and one to see one another and to be able to have this program tonight which is um, a collaboration between Hong Kong and Singapore musicians um, it is a great privilege to be able to share the, the music between Hong Kong musicians and Singapore musicians with you um, tonight's program titled flow notes between Hong Kong and Singapore essentially is a collaboration between musicians from Hong Kong and Singapore. And this has been a very unique co collaboration for this is something that's been going on, um, discussion and some work that's been going on for the last two years. And also for me, um, personally, it's been quite, um, I suppose, meaningful and emotional because I'm working with musicians. I've worked with since before the pandemic began in 2018. And here in Singapore, I've been working with musicians whom I've known for a very long time. And um, before anything else, I think, first of all, with me, I'm very pleased to introduce from Singapore. I have uh, Cho Korong, a wonderful pianist. I have Ben Po on the bass, and I have Aaron um, from on, on the drums. I'm Prick Korong, which say, say a few words of hello first. Hello, everybody. Uh, uh, all of us are very happy to be here, and we're quite excited to be able to play some music and share some music we've made together um, with our Hong Kong counterparts with you today. So we hope you enjoy the show. Okay, thanks, Korong. And now over to our friends in Hong Kong. I'm very, very, very pleased to have um, with us here now in Hong Kong, which I'll introduce in a short while, which is a C Leo on the harmonica, Timothy Sun on the piano, and Joyce on the piano. So um, over to you, Joyce. Timothy and CY. Hello. Hi, Ming Yen. Thank you for your kind words. So again, this is Joyce, and this is Leo, and this is Tim San. We're from Hong Kong, and we're from Music Lab. Okay. okay. Um, um, hi. Hi. Um, hi, Joyce, uh, Timothy, and uh, CY. Actually, um, as a quick background, as I mentioned, way back in uh, 2019, um, I, we had a great pleasure of actually working with Joyce in February when she was just a pianist with a group. And then finally, we had a great um, pleasure to present um, CY and Timothy from Music Lab in a concert here and in Victoria Theatre, which went very well. And actually, since then, we've been wanting very much to continue this uh, collaboration. And uh, we've decided that um, we're not going to let any Thing. Even a pandemic stopped this conversation and friendship going. And um, on this note, by this collaboration, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, for, for, long, for quite some time now, um, our organization here in Singapore Global Culture Alliance, we've been working, we had the great pleasure and honor to work with the Hong Kong Economic Trade Office here in Singapore to continue relationships, um, cultural relationships between Hong Kong and Singapore, and especially music ones. In 2019, we worked, as I said, we worked with the Music Lab. Uh, for performances here and we felt that any form of relationship should not be just a one-off but it should be continuous regardless of whatever circumstances we face and but of course all this will only be possible with support from um, proper um, agencies and authorities and in this we are truly grateful that the Hong Kong uh, Economic and Trade Office in Singapore has been greatly supportive of relationships between Hong Kong and Singapore, especially in the cultural field. Um, the Hong Kong ETO supported us uh, when we worked with Music Lab in, uh, in 2019 in two concerts here. And uh, so given this pandemic earlier, um, uh, earlier last year in June, the Hong Kong, uh, e Hong Kong ETO also worked with us to present webinars in dialogue between 
um, Singapore and Hong Kong, and we were glad to feature one of the founding members of Music Lab, the pianist uh, KJ Wong, in a, in, a, in a discussion and dialogue. And now to have this opportunity to begin a new year, 2021, with this exchange is something really very meaningful. And without much further ado, I'd like to introduce the director of the Hong Kong ETHO here in Singapore, Mr. Wong chun to say a few words. Uh, Mr. Wong, please. Thank you, Ming Yan, CY, Timothy, and Joyce in Hong Kong, Karel, Aaron, and Benjamin here in Singapore, and of course, friends from Hong Kong, Singapore, and the rest of ASEAN region. Good evening, and thank you very much for joining us online tonight. We have survived an unusual 2020 and overcome many challenges arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. The past year is especially tough for the arts and cultural sector. Physical performance were kept to the minimum, if not suspended. On the other hand, many musicians in Hong Kong and Singapore, being very resilient and creative, turned to the digital platform to continue their performance and connect to a new and wider audience. The Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in Singapore has been committed to promoting Hong Kong's arts and cultural art exchanges to our friends in the region. Over the years, we have worked with different partners in showcasing Hong Kong cultural talents in Singapore as well as fostering cultural exchanges to keep the Hong Kong-Singapore connection flowing and growing despite the travel restrictions. This time, we have decided to make good use of the technology to bring you the live streaming of a music collaboration which you can enjoy at home. I am very delighted to present you three passionate young musicians from Hong Kong. They are, of course, as Ming Yan has mentioned, no strangers to the Singaporean audience. We are very happy that in the 2021, they are the first batch of talents we supported by our office. The collaboration and exchanges with these three talented musicians from Singapore this time is another step forward for ties and friendship between the two cities. I will also have to say a big thank you again to Meng Yan, the Global Cultural Alliance, the executive producer of the tonight's concert, for making this event a reality. And many thanks to the three musicians in Singapore who are very passionate to work with their counterparts in Hong Kong as well. I wish the concert a great success and everyone will have a great evening this time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Meng Yan. Thank you very much, Mr. Wong, and uh, thank you to the Hong Kong ETO um, for this, you know, continued support of such a such a relationship uh, between Hong Kong and Singapore. All right, um, this is how the evening will go. We will start off first with a performance from uh, the, our friends in Hong Kong, following which there will be a performance from our friends here in Singapore, and then we will share um, a collaborative music video, which we'll share. We'll talk more about later, and then we'll have a performance from uh, our friends in Hong Kong. And uh, after which, we will have a Q&A session. Um, those of you are pleased, uh, there's a chat on YouTube. You could please uh, you know, send your comments. Uh, we always uh, welcome encouraging comments and questions related um, to music and music collaboration, especially how do we make uh, meaningful music during a time when there's so much, um, you know, we are physically separated, but yet there's digital technology. And how do we keep up with this? Because digital technology is shifting so fast, people pick up very fast. How can we keep ourselves new and innovative and meaningful and relevant all the time? So that's what that's how the flow will be. Um, now, this being a cultural exchange, I should say a few words in Hong Kong. Uh, okay, so I'll continue uh, in, in English. Um, I think above all, I hope you're keeping warm. I know it's winter in Hong Kong still, and it's cold there, so please keep warm as you watch this program. And here in Singapore, yep, it's 25 degrees, so please keep warm too. And without much further ado, I'm so pleased to present to you CY, Joyce, and Timothy. It's really great seeing you again, so over to you in Hong Kong. Okay. Thank you, Ming Yan. Um, thanks again from, from the Hong Kong ETO as well as uh, Ming Yan from Global Cultural Alliance for having us. We are so extremely honored and, and just excited to play some music finally at the beginning of 2021. So we have prepared two pieces for you all. 
um, in this section. So the first one is a mindful of things, um, a composition of mine that was written about two years ago, commissioned for Smash, actually a group that consists of Timothy, Leo, as well as KJ. And the second tune would be, let's pass on to the Leo. The second tune we are going to play um, is one of the pieces I wrote during a really enjoyable time uh, in Europe. And that time was actually um, an invitation by ETO as well. So uh, once again, thank you ETO for, for uh, giving us such an opportunity to perform. And I remember I was in Paris and this tune is called Paris as well. So uh, without further ado, let's hear it. This is A Mindful of Things. <laughs>
C.Y. Joyce and Timothy for taking us all the way on this uh, cool and rainy night here in Singapore to Paris. Um, it's really wonderful to hear this again, um, live in a way. Um, I still remember your performance of this work in uh, Singapore in 2019. And uh, Joyce, I'm so happy to hear you play again. Uh, and of course, Timothy, nice to see you and to listen to you again. And um, 
Okay, I could I could admit I'm a bit partial here because of my own um, piano background. I always enjoy hearing Joyce play. I remember the first time hearing her in 2019 in a performance also presented by the ETO here. Um, I was very struck that uh, she managed to uh, include some figurations from classical pieces and quotations in her playing, and it really struck me very very much. And I always enjoyed hearing her play. And uh, it's I think good to begin an evening to remind us of a mindful of things. Thanks very much, CY, Joyce, and Timothy. It's really glad to, you know, to listen to you all to begin the year. I think it's my first music performance for the year, and so glad to begin it with you all. Okay, so um, here in Singapore, I've got three people very, very meaningful to me. Um, first is Chok Karong on the keyboard. Um, I've known Karong since um, 2003, 17 years ago, and um, I, um, I was just stunned when, when I worked with him uh, for a performance at Esplanade. And um, it's taken me 17 years to work with him again, and I'm so grateful for this. It takes a pandemic for us to work together. Um, I, I'm, 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 I've always been very um, taken by the colors that he draws on the keyboard. I've known Aaron since... Um, Aaron is actually one of... He was one of the great prodigy drummers um, when he was growing up, and he's still one of the most exciting young talents. And I always have the great honor of working also both with Aaron and his father, and it's really, really great um, you know, to, to be able to do this with him. I'm working with Ben for the first time, but I'm so glad to at least meet, to, to meet Ben and to see all three of you tonight here. So, okay, without much further ado, I'll pass the time over to all three of you. So, Karong, it's all, it's just the show is yours. Thanks very much, Ming Yang. Um, we'd like to share a piece of mine uh, with you all. This is entitled Literacy, and it was written at a time when I was struggling to learn um, a new language within music. So uh, this piece was a result of that struggle. Uh, I play it differently now compared to when I first wrote it, but I think it, it still um, reminds me of a, of a time, a very exciting time in my life when um, I was discovering a lot of new things and trying to, f to figure out a lot of things that I didn't understand. So I, I think, you know, as artists, we can all relate to that feeling. So we hope you enjoy this. This is called Literacy. Thank you. 
The, 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 the thing about music is that after you listen to music, it's very hard to talk about it. Thanks so much, Karong, Aaron, and Ben uh, for this. Um, the, the work um, which uh, Karong has mentioned, aptly titled Literacy, about him when he wrote this, when he was learning a, a new language, a new musical language, exploring new musical sounds, I think totally applies. And uh, for as a listener, I'm always learning something new whenever I listen to Koron play, and it's of course, um, Aaron and, and Ben. And um, so, thank you very much. Do, those of you who have been keen comments, um, thanks very, very much for your encouragement your, and your comments. And I'm really glad that you're enjoying this evening. And also, thanks, friends from Malaysia uh, and I think Vietnam and especially Hong Kong who have been tu uh, tuning in. Really, thank you very much for taking time on this uh, Friday. Um, uh, evening uh, for this. And um, okay, um, as I said, uh, please, uh, if you have questions on the music, um, keep them coming in and we can have uh, Karong and um, Aaron and Ben talk more about, about this work later on. Now, uh, coming up next, um, as I mentioned, uh, we have a very special, something very special for your music video created towards the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021, based on a work written by CY and Joyce. And what is unusual about this uh, work is that, um, well, it's, it's something titled Trapped within in cities, which we really are, and how the files were transferred to one another and the whole process of uh, recording here, passing it back to Hong Kong, filming here, and passing it to Hong Kong, and, go, and the discussion. And the work Trapped in Cities is aptly titled, not because we're just trapped in cities, but as I was texting uh, Leo after I saw the first cut of the video, that melody, the opening tune, the opening refrain kept playing in my mind at one o'clock at night, and uh, and uh, see why it's responsible for me not getting any sleep because of his melody. And so, enough talking about music. Over to you, see why Joyce and Timothy on Trapped in Cities, and perhaps you can see something about it, and then we can see the video. Thank you. Playing and wonderful introduction of the Trap in the Cities. So it, maybe we can name it Trap in the Head now. Well, uh, well. This piece of composition is, is, is really exciting for myself especially because I will be leaving Hong Kong uh, in, in two weeks time. So this is probably my last production in Hong Kong, like last single production. And uh, it's such a pleasure writing this, producing this together with Joyce. And, and also because this is also our first time, my first time uh, working on a single, working on music that is uh, with overseas collaboration. Uh, which makes it even more uh, memorable for me. And maybe we can start off by talking about how we come up with the musical idea. Sure, the, uh, talk about the process of writing. I actually, it's my first time co-writing anything. Really? With oh. anybody, so pleasure's mine. Um, so Leo came to my studio the, the other day around, I think a, 
three weeks ago and we sat together we listened to some references and we know that we have to create a piece where we need to pass on to this we need to like you know there's a lot of back and forth with um singaporean musicians so we need to think about how the music can how the music can make sense you know because it's easy for us to fill in everything but the key point of collaboration is to leave space for other people to fill in whatever they think the music needs. So I guess that's a, like a big challenge for us as well. Definitely. And um, I have to say we had so much fun and it's such a, such a wonderful surprise to hear um, what the Singaporean musicians have to offer and, and it's, it's been so much fun. Yes, especially the back and forth with the Singaporean musician because uh, without like us being present there, um, then there has to be some discrepancy between the un understanding towards the music, mm -hmm. and it is so uh, such a pleasure to work with Karong, where with a such open mind and talented, of course, uh, musical musical ideas, just flow, just just a, a bunch of ideas uh, to offer for us um, during the back and forth process, and also um, I think another really um, really. Uh, special thing about this production is the videography uh, actually our videographer is here tonight you want to come come in you and can, say, you like can like say hi to us yes this is <laughs> isaac yes 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 in if, fact this guy has been working non-stop i think for the past like 48 hours like producing versions and versions of new cuts it was very last minute you know the whole thing from composition until recording and then us getting the track to singapore and then having them record and do the video at the same day and then isaac here miraculously finished the job like it and too, i don't know how he does it even without sleep exactly he's, he's like exactly. alive and well right now <laughs> yes and uh, so in the video you can see um footage from hong kong and footage from singapore so you feel like we are actually doing it as a team together, but then we are actually separated, uh, doing it separately. So, so it's gonna be such a such a um, such an enjoyable piece of work to to watch. So, shall we see it? Yes. Let's.
um, CY and uh, Timothy and of course Isaac, thank you so much uh, for this and thanks to all of you who have written comments, uh, it's truly um, encouraging, I'll share it later. Um, but um, yep, uh, yep, that's what I've been working on, what we have been working on actually in the last week of the of the last two weeks of the previous year and now into this year. And uh, yes, it's true. Um, I've been receiving texts from Isaac at 1 a.m., 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. I think there was one morning at 5 a.m. and there was really, wow. Okay, I, I had to catch up with Isaac. Isaac, please uh, make sure you get some sleep. And um, as you've seen, um, Okay, I, I, I must also uh, say, Isaac, you, you, you're terrible. You have made me uh, nostalgic for Hong Kong. I miss my family there. I haven't seen them for a year. So thank you very much for the nostalgia and the heartache. Anyway, okay, I think uh, before that, um, they're just over here in Singapore. Um, Karong and um, Aaron and Ben, would you like to say a bit about the collaboration? We have heard from our friends in Hong Kong. Would you like to say something and share your thoughts on the collaboration? I think... Uh it was a really fun process. Um, one of the things I enjoy about collaboration is is hearing other people's uh, points of view and trying to find the middle ground. And sometimes the the middle ground is something that you might not have envisioned uh, by yourself. But when you um, uh, talk talk things out with your collaborators and try to f uh, figure out what the music needs together, sometimes you you can find combinations that. Uh, might not have been obvious to you, so I I really appreciated that part of the collaboration. Um, yeah, that was the big thing for me. So, thank you, CY, Joyce, Tim. Okay, thanks, Karung. Um, Aaron, would you say something because you added the whole rhythm to, to yeah. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, uh, I think the biggest thing for me is that uh, we get to, coming out to play music after uh, months of like lockdown. Uh, Karong and Ben, I like to, I like to play with them. So thank you for getting me on the thing, and thank you guys for like allowing me to contribute. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. And uh, Ben, would you like to talk about any of the baseline? Yeah. I mean, um, just like to add on to what Aaron said. Um, I think it's pretty amazing that we get to um, do uh, this collaboration uh, in, in in this context, and um, yeah, and just the fact that we've never. Um, like, if not, I, I don't actually know. I don't think we know, me and Aaron, uh, know, know the guys over in Hong Kong. But, you know, we communicate um, through the music, and I think that's uh, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ben. And actually, thanks for the reminder. It, it just actually occurred to me that uh, it's true. Uh, neither Aaron nor Ben had met the people, had met uh, CY Joyce or, or, or Timothy b before. And I know, of course, Karun had uh, you know, toured with... Uh, uh, Timothy, so actually it's quite unusual to make this work, um, you know, without uh, having having some of them met before. Okay, now and now to the, the last uh, final work for the evening, and after that we have some questions really coming in, which we'll look at the questions. Um, I'll pass it over to our friends in Hong Kong, aptly with the work titled Flow. So over to you, Joyce, Timothy, and CY. Thank you, Mingyan. Thank you, um, Karol, and Aaron, and Benjamin. It's definitely a pleasure working with you all. Um, the last piece we have for you all tonight is titled Flow, um, a song that I wrote, actually also commissioned for Smash around two years ago, at the same time as, as Mindful of Things. Um, so um, miraculously, this title is also the title of our show tonight. And I wrote this piece to remind myself not to refrain from letting musical ideas flow. I guess it's almost like how we're doing this show. We're, we're not really thinking about barriers. We're not really thinking about how COVID prevents us from making music, but we took one step forward and make this collaboration happen, which I still think it's pretty amazing. Um, so I really do hope you guys would enjoy the piece uh, we have for you tonight. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Joyce, Siva, and Timothy uh, for Flo. And Joyce, as you mentioned when you began your piece, um, we took the title for this concert actually after your work, Flo. So I have to admit that. So that, yeah, thanks very much. Uh, you, I, we felt it really kind of encapsulated what we wanted to do. So really, thank you very much. All right, um, for all those of you who have been tuning in online, thank you so much for your, your wonderful comments and encouraging comments. And uh, we truly appreciate it. And OK, actually, there are two questions. Um, one is a longer question, and one is a shorter question. So I think I'll take the longer question first. And this question actually is specifically for Aaron. Um, and, uh, but I guess I think um, uh, you know, if anybody else would like to uh, add in, also you, you may please do so. And Aaron, the question is this, it's about drums in, in a work, and the question is this. Drums usually don't have much a melodic feature, unlike the other instruments. Are there special features or styles when creating the drum sections for a piece, or are there some fun ideas? Once again, drums usually don't have much melodic function uh, like other instruments. So are there special features or styles when creating the drum section for a work, or are there such some fun ideas? Would you like to share what you know how to do what you do and all that? Yeah, and maybe demonstrate. Hello, checking, yeah. Uh, I guess, actually, uh, drums is a melodic instrument to me. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we can start with that. So, uh, I always like to go with what the music needs. So, like for Karong's uh, music, it requires a certain, you know, a certain energy or a certain feeling to the, to the music. And I try to hear uh, drumistic melodies that uh, might fit the situation. Um, fun ideas, uh, nothing, nothing in specific, but you know, uh, you can do fun things like playing in unison or playing in contrast, and there are a thousand ways you can do each of those things, and that could be fun. Yeah, yeah. Show something fun or demonstrate something? <laughs> uh, I, d I don't think this is a... Uh, a very demonstrable thing, but um, uh, I I, pl I hear my drums as melodies. I sing uh, I sing the melodies as well. So I guess you could try that. Uh, whoever is asking that 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 would be fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks very much, Aaron. Actually, for reminding us. Thanks very much for reminding us that uh, the drum percussion as melodic instruments. Okay. I was wondering, um, uh, would, would anyone like to add to that? Um, uh, Timothy, Joyce, or, uh, or Siva, do you want to do anything about drums in, in, in writing a piece or you know, envision it? You have left the drum section to us in Singapore. So I was wondering, yeah, you know, we'd like to address this question. Okay. Um, th thanks very much, uh, CY, for you know um, elaborating on that. And yes, uh, when when this video, you can access it again, so you can listen to it, um, to how it goes. And uh, the the other question is a much shorter question. And the question is, will Trapped in the Cities be available on Spotify? Okay, so, uh, so uh, do, do thanks, thanks um, 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 Siva, Joyce, and, and, and Timothy, and, um, and uh, you know, 
Karong Karong Okay, so do look out for this uh, when it does uh, come on Spotify. Okay, um, I, let me see the other questions. Um, all right, um, I get it about the about the questions, and you know we've been doing this. Uh, you know, we've been doing this for an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour already, and uh, we talk about how we should all be here, especially. I think more importantly, um, the comments have come in. Um, I, I think we really appreciate all of you who have um, enjoyed the spontaneity and collaboration of the musicianships and the collaboration. A lot of comments have come in that we truly, truly um, appreciate this. Um, I think, uh, yeah, you know, it's one of the on online and for all of you all who have been staying with us, we appreciate this. I think, okay, before we close the evening, I was wondering whether, do we have any words from, from Singapore side? Um, Karong, Aaron and Ben, is there anything you'd like to say? to the friends who are tuning in from Malaysia, from Hong Kong, and to our friends in Hong Kong. Any, any words you'd like to share? First of all, thanks for listening. Thanks for, um, uh, thank, thanks for your interest in our music. And um, of course, I hope this is not the last time that CY, Joyce, and Tim, and all of us get to collaborate again. So we hope for the next one. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Aaron, anything you'd like to do with you? <laughs> okay, Ben? Okay, um, I, I think from Andrew from Singapore, um, CY Joyce and uh, uh, Timothy, um, I think I'm very happy to be able to work with you once again. I hope there are many opportunities to work with you. And most important, I hope everyone can see each other. That's very, I think, important. Music is a physical thing, and we do hope that the next time we collaborate, the three of us will be, but six of us will be in a physical space. So over to you, Joyce, CY, and Timothy for any closing remarks before we close for the evening. Um, uh, re in, re in reply to Karong's comment, I think, I hope this is the last time that we have to do like an online collaboration. I want to like work, make music with you guys physically instead of, you know, instead of in this space. I mean, it's pretty amazing that this happened, but I really do miss, you know, performing on the stage and collaborating and traveling with, you know, musicians and, and, and stuff. Um, I guess I guess that sums up our night pretty well. Again, we'd like to thank you, Ming Yen from the Global Cultural Alliance for, you know, doing all the, all the putting together, both of our parties to work on this project together, as well as the Hong Kong ETO for lining us up and, um, I really hope that when we get to make music again, it's you know it's with a proper stage, and I really do miss you know playing playing music live, same as you know Leo and Tim here. Um, so thank you again. Okay, um, thanks Joyce, uh, Tim and Leo. Thanks Aaron, Benjamin, and uh, um, Karong. Um, and I think above all, thanks very very much to the uh, Hong Kong ETO here um, for their support, without which this would not be possible. Thank you for believing in the importance of. I think above all people to people relationship and friendship, um, despite the fact that we can't meet physically. Thank you for supporting this. Uh, we do hope that this can continue. To all the friends who have tuned in, and uh, we hope you have a wonderful evening. And um, I think as Joyce um, and Karong has mentioned, we hope that the next time the six of us, okay, the six of your meet will be on stage. And we certainly wish that this collaboration will continue for all performances and encounters are meant more than just to be one off, but to be meant for a lifetime. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. And once again, thank you, Hong Kong ETO, for making this possible. All right, uh, please keep warm. Friends in Hong Kong, please stay safe. And uh, yeah, keep healthy. We want to see you all definitely. All right, thank you very much.